heading to the polls today and tonight will change the landscape of what state and federal government will look like come January 1st. Despite it being just a primary election, one political expert says what happens tonight will have an effect locally and nationally in November's general election. Pat Bailey explains why. Steve Greenberg says if you're an incumbent, historically, you're in good shape. It is hard to take out an incumbent, and it's, it's even harder to take out an incumbent in a primary rather than a general election. But nothing's definite. In fact, Greenberg, a political pollster for Siena, says he's watching two things tonight, a handful of congressional races and state Senate primaries. He says some incumbents, like Roy McDonald in the 43rd District, could be in trouble. I think whoever wins uh, this primary is likely to win the general election. So that will help the Republicans keep control of the Senate come November, right? Greenberg says, maybe. I think the Republicans are rightly always concerned. This is blue New York, and Democrats tend to do even better in presidential years than they do in gubernatorial years in terms of turnout and, and the effect on legislative seats. And voter turnout is something to watch in this year's primary. Historically, the numbers are much smaller than general election votes, and a new wrinkle this year. New Yorkers are voting on a Thursday, not a Tuesday. Greenberg says a primary election is not won and lost in radio or television ads, rather right here at the polling places. He says whichever candidate can get most of their supporters to get out and vote will make all the difference. Polls close at 9 p.m. In Schenectady, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News. And redistricting this year is leading to some confusion about who can vote and where. We did some checking. If you're planning on voting in the hotly contested 43rd State Senate District race, here's what you need to know. The district has eliminated the towns of Malta, Clifton Park, and Milton. However, there are some new towns that can vote in the race between Roy McDonald and Kathy Marchand. They include Greenfield and Wilton.